guys, this is another video in the series, Makeup Like a Beauty YouTuber. Last time was a disaster, and so I looked up other YouTube videos that would hopefully help me learn how to put makeup on my eyes. Not only are we going to attack the eyes today, but we're gonna do a full face, and we are also going to try some false eyelashes. To make things a little more fun, I also have wine. Here is the game plan. We are going to start with the eyes. I took some notes off of this beauty YouTuber, Tati. She's amazing, by the way. Off of her eyeshadow tricks, do's and don'ts. You can watch the original video down below. And then she has 100% drugstore makeup that I'm going to try to replicate. And then afterwards, another beauty YouTuber that I follow, Tina Yong. Her video is how to apply false eyelashes for a beginner. So my face is completely clean. We are ready to go. This is the Color Bucket Stay Awake Eye Primer. If it's a good eye primer, it could bring out the colors a lot more. If you use an eye primer, you don't have to do this step. If you don't have eye primer and you don't want to buy eye primer, what you can do is put foundation or concealer over your eyes and you can just run it over with some pressed powder. MUA Makeup Academy. Skin Define Hydro Powder with Vitamin E and Hojoba. So I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, do that. Next step is a transition shade. The palette that I'm going to be using, this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Modern Renaissance. It is so beautiful. It's very red and orangey based. A transition shade is, it allows darker colors to blend into your eye art. So for Tati's do's and don'ts eyeshadow, I was pretty much like 95% don't side. So normally, pre-Tati, I would put a, a transition shade like that one. It's a little dark, it's a little bold. The color that she used is much lighter, so I think what she would go for is either this one, which is golden ochre, or she would go for this one, which is raw sienna. We are gonna go with raw sienna. And I am using a fluffy brush, and then... <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay, so she goes from like the crease, their color. She spent a lot of time just blending, uh, so I'm going to... Oh! Oh no! I already made a mistake! Okay, the mistake was this. So once you pick up a lot, right? And then you want to tap it off. I forgot to tap. Oh, and she goes dust in and above the crease. Not too shabby. I even think I put it right. So it's like in the crease. And if you don't know where your crease is, all you gotta do is just lightly, like, where your eye folds. Yeah. In the eye crease and above the eye crease, but you, you don't want to go as far as your eyebrows. This time, use a flat brush. When you use a flat brush, you want to pick up the product on the side. She's gonna go in with a shimmery shade. I'm gonna use this one. It is Primavera. Pick it up with the side of the brush. Yeah. That is for, like, the eyelid color. Don't go above the crease. She also uses Max Fix Plus, but I don't have Max Fix Plus. I'm using a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray Makeup Extender Setting Spray. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye. Whoa! Okay, do you see the intensity difference? Wait, I'm really happy. Like, this means I wouldn't have to buy Max Fix Plus just to get the same effect. This one is pretty damn good too. This is the dreaded part. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the last time, but when I went in with a dark color at the end, it was like somebody punched me in the eyeballs. We are going to use the same brush. And after watching Tati's video, I have a little more confidence. This wine is also making me confident. Red ochre. Grab a little, tap off the excess. She also doesn't go above the crease. Okay. Oh, another thing that she said she does is say your product is right straight ahead on top of the brush, right? Then when you do it onto your eyeballs, you want to go straight. You don't want to like tilt the brush in any sort of direction. Same thing if you use a flat brush. Like if you pick up product like this, when you go on your eye eyeballs, eye eyelids, want to go straight like that. Okay. 
And another thing is she says to not go too far in with that darker color before it starts looking crazy, which I am slowly getting to. So I have a contour eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use this to blend it out. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of raw sienna, tap off the excess, and go back into the crease. We're getting so much better, and it's only the second time I'm trying this. I'm going to skip over to my face right now. And this is the other Tati video. This is the 100% drugstore. The face primer I'm using is Color Bucket Bling Bling Moist Primer. We're just going to boom, 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 boom. And a reason why some people would do their eyes before they do the rest of the face is that if you mess up, it's easier to go back with foundation and concealer to cover it up instead of having your foundation and concealer already done. Put on the eyeshadow, and then if you mess up, you use something wet to wipe, and then you gotta do that entire section all over. Efficiency, that's what it is. I'm feeling the wine a little bit. We're gonna go with foundation, and this is L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup SPF 20 in the color Nude Beige W3 Warm. I'm just using one pump, and I have my Real Techniques brush ready to go. Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer in number two beige and number three dark. When Tati was using under eye concealer, she went a little crazy, so I'm gonna try it her way. I'm going to set everything with this guy again. Now we are going to go in with the under eye. This is totally preference depending on how far you want to pull it. For me, I like to pull it like halfway or like two thirds of the way, but I never pull it the full way. Raw Sienna, once again. Tap off excess. I never did that before. No wonder it was like, pow! I'm gonna put antique bronze for my under eye liner. I like it. I'm gonna also use antique bronze for like my eyeliner part, but I also have a eyeliner there that I'm going to put on top of it. And then the last part of Tati's do's and don'ts of eyeshadow is highlighter. You don't wanna like be too messy and just go <laughs> So this one that I'm using is from Etude House. This is Play 101 Blending Pencil. Put it on the inner corners, but you wanna make sure it's tight and controlled. You don't wanna get it all the way to your nose area cause that's a lot. Man, I don't think I should've drank wine. And Cosmetics Brush Tip Illustrative Eyeliner. Oh my God, there's so much red eyeshadow there. Cool. Oh my god, is that like a really good point? It is, I think. Is it? Tell me. The wine has kicked in, my friends. <laughs> Yo, I look scary. Shiseido's, Shiseido's, Shiseido, it's not even Shiseido, Shiseido, this tweezer mint, almond, almond eyes, tweezer, what is this, eyelash curler, yeah, NYX micro brow pencil in the color espresso, this thing that all the shit has rubbed off, um, this is L'Oreal, Brow something. I love this product. I think this is my like third time buying this product. I haven't tried Glossier's boy boy brow yet, but I feel like this could be a good dupe of Glossier, even though Glossier is not that expensive. I've heard that Glossier is the dupe of Anastasia, so this could be a dupe of Anastasia too. Next, we are going to highlight the brow bone. So when you go for that, um highlight under the brow 
want to make it as thin as possible. So if you make it too thick, it'll just detract from your eyes, the eye color, because then you'll be like, bam, I like. The color I'm going to go in with is Bunny. I totally agree with this, that makeup is just playing with light and shadows, right? I just don't understand how light and shadows work. You're going to use Bourjois Paris bronzing powder. This smells like chocolate. The mascara. This is Benefit Roller Lash. Should I put mascara on? Color Wheel Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. I got so many colors to choose from. We're gonna go with Iconic. Swirl, swirl, swirl. And we are gonna do some highlighting with this brush, the Culture. So, highlight, you can do the nose. Good. You can do above the cupid's bow. Yep, good. Above the cheek, just a little bit. We're not gonna go too crazy. Cool. How are we feeling about this, guys? Before we do the false eyelashes. High five for finish all of Tati's tutorials. Woo! <laughs> oh, no, 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 we're not finished yet. NYX lip liner in pumpkin. NYX. Pick up, pin up, pin up, pout. lot of brightness going on if I wanted to change something I would definitely change the blush so it's not like bright 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 Ardell in 110 this is the not natural multi pack if you see this the eyelash is freaking huge so I have to trim it the duo eyelash adhesive in dark tone you have to wait for 30 seconds for it to be tacky. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Now I just have gloom ruining my beautiful eye makeup that I just mastered. <laughs> Ready? glue on the lashes these eyelashes are ruined look at that just look at that that's cool that's cool i'm actually going to take off all my makeup now this is clinique clinique cleansing oil garnier skin active micellar cleansing water Alright, I hope you enjoyed that non-makeup tutorial. Oof, I can't wait to share it right now. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will appreciate anything and everything. I love you guys. That's the wine speaking. <laughs> no, actually, I love you guys in general, but the wine is just making more making me more touchy feely, you know? Alright, peace out guys. My name is Juliet. With, With a, a nugget, nugget of, of twine.